Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a VK7201K. It's a tier 10 German premium heavy tank, a reward tank, and it's located on the south spawn of Ensk under the command of Oppenheimer. Well, you've only got one of these tanks if you took part in the clan wars, or is it um, accumulated enough fame points? It's rather similar to the Panzerkampfwagen 7, the Panzerkampfwagen 7, and well, it's um, got some of the similarities, except of course, unlike the 7, which has got a weak point on the shoulder, just underneath the turret, the weak point on this tank is the lower plate. Well, it's got a 15 centimeter gun, which is capable of 750 alpha penetrating 246 millimeters of armor and with the fact that it actually is a rear mounted turret it can side scrape like a boss and Oppenheim is taking it straight into the field area near the factories because obviously you can get some good side scraping action here whoa look at that 796 high roll on the AMX it's got very low armor on that AMX 30 all he could do was track us really okay T1 L LPC there can easily do him. Premium tank. Okay, he's just lining up, but there's building in the way. Looks like most of the enemy heavy tanks have actually gone into town. Ah, now some opposition. Some more SM takes a round for 750, and we bounced the round that came back in return. And, oh, there's an AMX CDA up there as well, and he's just fluffed his shot. Okay, the reload time, 16.51 seconds. You'd expect that with uh, such a high caliber gun. And that round from the RT actually did lower our reload time, but, well, the Samur is now back in the garage. Yeah, very bad game for him. And, um, well, the, the CDA did manage to get a round through us. But, there he goes. Revelry say saw to him. Just checking our corners. Ah, okay, the RT. Both of them going for the 58 first. Oh, missed. In fact, we did take a splash there from the M53, M55. Bounced around from an Alpine Tiger. That was a 122mm round. I think they realise that, yeah, they're going to have difficulty trying to penetrate this armour. So, time to get away <laughs> and find some friends who can actually help them. Bye bye, Alpine. <laughs> oh, he's lucky. 638 hit points off that one. It's a low roll and it left him alive. A high roll, he would have been dead straight away. And you can see he's firing heat rounds back. He finally got one through, and he's damaged our gun as well. Okay, there's an enemy VK7201 around the corner. Now, this will be interesting. Let's see who's the better player. He's also got all his health. That's a big of a problem. Yep. Could engage the Alpine first, but we're going to engage him. And, oh no, instead we actually damaged the Pantera for 784 with a high roll. And the Alpine Tiger got his turret blown off by our Revel Arise. And the Pantera's gone down. So it's just a matter now of dealing with this one. Is he going to go for the sweet point? Yes. 707 through the side, low roll. He's firing the heat now because he has to, to get through the armor. You get an additional penetration. 350 millimeters. Oh, okay, go for the side. Yes, right through, but it's a low roll again, 670. Okay, we've got a T95 off in the distance. That Revel Arise did very well, actually. But, oh, we got the rear end of the 72. Oh, <laughs> and he's gone. 624 off that. And we've got an RT just to our right. It's the M40, M43. We won't go around the corner just yet. T95's there as well. Can we get a shot on him? I don't think so. 
We don't really want to use the heat round on the uh, RT. He's going for the lower plates and he gets it through. And the T95 fires around into our gun. And it's that gun's been peppered by heat rounds. That's why it's coloured purple. And an E75 managed to get a round through us. Would you believe it? Griller takes a big round, a high roll for 787. Of course, he's got very little armour. Okay, just sit here for the moment and get the reload in. The moment we pull out, we can deal with him and take him out of the game completely. Thank you. And, well, that's 7.5k of damage so far. He's carried the team. T95 is the last real opposition on the enemy team. There's the bat chat. Hello, Mr. Bat chat. Do you want a round? There you go. <laughs> He's gone. And the T95 dies around the corner. So it's game over with a fair bit of damage to the vehicle. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of battle stats for Arpenheimer. Well, it was a first class tanker for Arpenheimer in the VK 7201K. He managed to get a hand of God for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks, a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage, a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him, a fighter badge for getting at least four kills, he did get four exactly, and of course a fire for, threat, for effect and a shell proof. Out of the epics and um, the battle heroes, he managed to get a patrol duty for being the only one spotting at least six enemy tanks whilst they were damaged, and the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that battle overall. In fact, he carried the battle. Let's have a look at the team scores. There you go, right at the top of the table, 7,626 hit points of damage. The next highest scorer was the VK7201K on the enemy team with 4913, but of course he was bested and taken out of the game by Arpenheimer. And the next high score after that was in fact a Maltian with 2421. That was a, quite a small score compared to Arpenheimer and the other guy in the VK. When it came to kills, again, it's Arpenheim with four kills. The Reveler Reese did well with three, but he went round the corner and met somebody who had a lot more hit points than him and took him out of the game. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in that one too. He's got the top in all three columns. 1,253 base experience points, and he was the only player over 1,000 base experience in that game, but not enough to get an ace tanker. 13 shots fired, 12 direct hits, 12 penetrations. It did help that he was using the heat on some of those enemies. 7,626 hit points of damage, all of it at close range. Received 10 hits from the enemy, only three of which were penetrations. You saw one of those rounds from the Alpine Tiger went in right through the side at the back at the weak spot. Yes, he put the shell exactly where he was supposed to go. And... Uh, Five non-penetrations and three hits by way of splash damage. Yeah, the RT did definitely have hots for him in that battle. 2,580 hit points of damage blocked. Six enemy vehicles spotted. Eight enemy vehicles damaged. Four killed and 3,129 hit points of spotting assist. On a premium count, he earned 76,025 credits, got 57,019 from personal reserves and battle payments of 34,211. So his grand total was 205,268 credits. And despite the fact that he fired a fair amount of heat during that game, he still came out ahead with a profit of 111,018 credits. He got 1,253 XP. Got 94 for this being a premium vehicle. Yes, it is a reward tank that uh, if you are an extremely good player, you are re rewarded with one. And 1,974 experience points altogether. A battle lasted only 5 minutes and 45 seconds. Would you believe it? Very, very short battle, but a very good result for Arpenheimer. So, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're only a small channel, but we do have a lot of videos. Probably find something that will uh, tickle your fancy. And if it does tickle your fancy, I wasn't responsible and cannot be arrested for it. Thanks for watching.